Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And He loves you. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good day and welcome as we gather on this the 9th of June, the Feast of St. Columba, or in Gaelic or Irish as is known, Colum Killa. And he was born in Garton, County Donegal. He studied under two St. Finians, St. Finian of Moville and St. Finian of Clonard. He founded monasteries in Derry, Durrow, and possibly Kells before heading to Western Scotland, where he is venerated in a major way, especially in Iona. And he died in 597. And this evening I'm offering this Mass as a second anniversary of all three people, Davy Swan, Gertie Kana Ni Healy, and her brother Richard, or Dicky Healy, as he's known to us. We pray that they would rest in the light and in the love of God. So as we prepare ourselves to celebrate our Mass today, on this, the Feast of St. Colin Kill, we ask the Lord to forgive us and to give us that the zeal which Colin Killer had. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who filled the heart of your abbot, St. Columba, with the joy of the Holy Spirit and with deep love for those in his care, grant by his intercession that your pilgrim people may follow him, strong in faith, sustained by hope, and one in the love that binds us to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Romans. Think of God's mercy, my brothers and sisters, and worship him, I beg you in a way that is worthy of thinking beings, by offering your living bodies as a holy sacrifice, truly pleasing to God. Do not model yourselves on the behaviour of the world around you, but let your behaviour change, modelled by your new mind. This is the only way to discover the will of God and know what is good. What it is that God wants, what is the perfect thing to do. The word of the Lord. Our response today is taste and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. 
In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Response. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Revere the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Response. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Come, children, and hear me, that I may teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is he who longs for life and many days to enjoy his prosperity? Response. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the great crowds all about him, he gave orders to leave for the other side. One of the scribes then came up and said to him, Master, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus replied, Foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the sun has nowhere to lay his head. Another man, one of his disciples, said to him, Sir, let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus replied, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their dead. Jesus got into the boat, followed by his disciples. Without warning, a storm broke over the lake, so violent that the waves were breaking right over the boat. But Jesus was asleep. So they went to him and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are going down. And he said to them, Why are you so frightened, you men of little faith? And with that he stood up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and all was calm again. The men were astounded and said, Whatever kind of man is this? Even the winds and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Father, we turn to you in prayer today and we ask your grace and blessing upon us. We thank you for the feast day that we celebrate, the feast of St. Columba. And we pray that many more men and women will hear your call to come and to follow and bring your good news to others. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who are sick at this time, those who are undergoing varying treatments in our community, those who are housebound, those in our nursing care facilities. Bless them, Lord. Keep them in your care. Strengthen them in every way. Lord, hear us. We pray for our young people at this time. Give them every grace and blessing. May they realise that they are your children, Father, sisters and brothers of Jesus. They are temples of the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and especially those for whom we offer this Mass this evening. Davy Swan, Gertie Kinnar, Richard Healy. And we pause for a few moments and we remember all who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith.
eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. We also remember one of our priests of this diocese, whose funeral mass took place today in Thomastown. Monsignor Jim Casson, originally a native of Thomastown Parish in Chapel Hill, who served much of his priesthood lecturing in St. Hurdens, had spent the early part of his priesthood in Hexham and Newcastle in Hartlepool, and eventually then he went to Maynooth and worked on the Bishop's Education portfolio. And we pray for, for Jim at this time. We pray for his family and especially his brother Paddy. May Paddy be consoled at this time of loss in his life. And eternal rest grant unto Father Jim, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he Join with all the angels and saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread which we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant those who approach your altar, O Lord, that spirit of devotion with which the blessed Abbot Columba was on fire so that pure of heart and fervent in charity, we may offer you a worthy sacrifice. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dermot, our Bishop, and all who are called to ministry in your church. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. With confidence in the Father's love for us as children of the Father, we are privileged to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy 
to him that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Since at this time, Lord, I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. I know that you are with me, Lord, that you walk by my side. You surround me, you protect me. Keep me always in your ways. I unite myself to you. Holy. Never, Lord, permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The greatest among you must be your servant, says the Lord. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament which we have received, renew our hearts, O Lord, so that by the example of Abbot Blessed Colum Killer, being wise in the things above, not in the things of earth here below, we may merit to appear in glory with Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in his ways. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Taste and see that the Lord